Hello everyone! I'm here this morning with the unboxing of the March Cocoa Daisy Kit. I started subscribing last month, so February is my first one. It was fantastic. It had all those bright, beautiful colors and peacocks in there and I loved it. So I don't know, it might be kind of tough to beat that one, but we'll see. All I've done so far is taken the tape off. That's it. So I love it, first of all, that it's yellow. I know I mentioned that last month. I don't care. I love yellow. So you get the little tissue paper that comes in there, which I'm trying to be like Adele Inky Quill on her channel and try to use tissue paper more for layering. I haven't gotten too adventurous yet, but I want to try. Oh, look at this. If this is any indication of what's in here, I'll probably love it. I just went to a flower show at our local conservatory that this would look perfect with. And then I love butterflies, so I'm digging this already. So here's the inner bag that comes with it, and mine got a little hole in it. Sad face, so don't know that I can ever reuse the bag really, but that's okay. Maybe I'll cut it up. Find a use for it. So here's the stack of stuff here. I like to do the cards last, so we'll put those over there. This looks like just some extra or something. Paper. All right, so let's start with these. I love this. I, I'm a purple girl too, so I love that. I already know it'll be this side. <laughs> Look at that beautiful butterfly. Oh, I would hate to cut this down. I'm doing mostly six by eight pocket pages now, um, even for my travel stuff, so I'm not sure how I would make that work, but I'm gonna have to get creative because that's super cool. Love these as well. I like this one, it just looks like paint was dropped on there. That's pretty cool. A look at the other side, is almost blank. <laughs> I think they just cut these down, like from a big 12 by 12 sheet, so you just kinda get it at random. So that's all I got on that side. A beautiful fuchsia there. It almost matches my, my sweatshirt today. Ooh. I like the pink, but I think I might end up using this. I like it. Some polka dots. Oh, another kind of just color splash there, which I also like. Ooh, I like this funky pattern, and I'm already thinking this summer I am doing a big Europe trip again, and I am going to Germany, Austria, and the Czech Republic. And in Prague, they have some synagogues, and one of them is done in a... Um, Moroccan style kind of that's what this makes me think of so I may have to hold this and save it yeah it's just clouds on the other side I may have to save that for my trip this summer and here's just a lovely stripe and some triangles mm, I don't know probably this one just because I like the super bright colors so here is the bag there's some embellishments here they're all wood veneer Come on. Go. Let's see what we got. Or no, they're not. They're cork this time. Okay. I love these. The little funky patterns in the clouds. Those are so cool. There's another one. Drip, drip, drop. I get it because it's March. Probably lots of rain. Just some arrows. Love it. Little butterfly. Can't go wrong with the butterflies. Dancing in the rain. And actually, I'm thinking too, I'm going away with my kids for spring break for a couple days. And one of the things on our list for where we're going is to go to the butterfly house. So I might be able to work this into my spring break travel album. So that would be fun as well. Here is the stamp set for this month that goes with this kit. So it's kind of based on the rain and the spring theme again. Rain, coffee, and you. That's kind of fun. Rain. I like this. That it shows little drops of puddles. That's kind of unique. I've never, I've never quite seen that before. Spring puddle jumping, splish splash. Rain is my favorite. Um, I don't know how many photos of rain I will get, um, but you know what? I might try. I might just sort of have it in my mind, and if I can catch something, I'll take the photo so I can use these with it. Otherwise, you know. 
I'm bound to have at least one rainy day when I travel this summer. I mean, can't have perfect weather every day, right? So I could save it and use it for, you know, my Europe trip when, when something happens. All right, and then let's talk about these, shall we? These are so awesome. I love the puffy and epoxy sticker look right now that's all over scrapbooking. And these fit that perfectly. And look at these cute designs. I mean, come on. This reminds me of when I was a little kid and I would collect stickers. Did you have a sticker book when you were younger? I always did. And that reminds me of it a little bit, those bright colors. There's just a little bit of a butterfly again, which I love. Bloom, grow, rainy day, little boots, those are cute. I love these. I don't know how I'll find a way to use all of them, like the boots maybe, but the rest of these, I'm pretty confident that I can use those in my everyday scrapping and I'm sure I will find a way, you know, to use like the hashtag and the exclamation point and look at, there's even a geotag for my travel photos. Very happy with those. Now for the little die cut pack. I was super happy with them last month, so I'm hoping if they'll come out of here that this month's are just as good, if not better. Oh no, don't stick, butterfly. There we go. So there's the first one, butterfly, love it. Just some little leaves, more of those purple flowers that kind of match the paper that I got. Leaves again. This week, photo, weekend. Those are all pretty generic. I could use those in almost anything. I like these little circular elements too. They're great for stamping on them, just to put a date in there or a little phrase. Look at yellow geotag. I actually pre-package stuff when I take a trip. Anything I have on hand that I think might work with travel photos, I put together. So I'm actually going to put this right into my stash for my upcoming Europe trip. Since it's a geotag and it's yellow, which I love. Little hearts. Oh, another geotag. These are so cool. I love it that they put patterns on them, that they're not just plain. Makes it more fun. Some labels here. And then some blank little label tags. First day of spring, which is coming up quickly. And sunshines like this one when I have a nice day on my trip I could even use it for that so I think these will all get used no worries there good job Coco Daisy so now let's look at our labels and the letters the letters are from Evilicious again they were also from them last month if I remember correctly and I love this kind of periwinkle color this again I know will work with those photos I have from the conservatory so happy about that I'm sure I could find other uses too, but I know they would match with those. So that's awesome. And then these are the cut apart flags and, you know, some pretty generic phrases that you could probably use with, with anything. I like this colorful memories that I could probably use on my trip. This is the story. Never forget. Uh, always fun. Magic moments. A lot of these I could use for that. So I may, when I cut them apart, take out the ones I think I can use and add them to that travel stash. And the rest will just go into my general scrapbooking stuff. Now I'm going to open this little package. So this is separate from the cards. Not exactly sure what's in here. Oh, okay. So it's like little extra die cut cards. <laughs> if you've watched any of my other videos, I've mentioned this several times. I hate big ampersands like this. <laughs> so pretty much sure I won't use this, but this one's cute. So I'll find a way where I can make that work. And then just a little set of stickers here with some fun sayings. Garden life, singing in the rain, smile at spring, rain, rain, go away sun please so you know all of these will get used in some way i'm sure whether it's on a trip or not i don't know but i don't have a garden at home but i go to lots of arboretums and gardens um so i'm sure eventually they'll turn up in my photos somewhere so now to the best part at least for me i do mostly pocket scrapping these days so for me this is the most exciting part so let's do the four by sixes first since there are 
fewer of them. Oh, that's so cute. I love the little faux stitching on there and that it's pink, but there's a little bit of color over here. Extra. I like it. And clouds. I'll probably use this side. You are my sunshine. Very cool. I kind of like the darker, the, the one that has more color with the yellow in it. And I have to say, I know some people don't like the vertical four by six, because if you're doing traditional project life, there's not many spots for that. Um, but I've been on this kick lately where I use inserts in my scrapping, and I like to put in a full four by six insert, and those are vertical most of the time. So for me, this works. I'm sure I could find a way to, to incorporate that. You're my favorite human. <laughs> I see myself actually using this with pictures of my cats. Oh, both sides say it, but I like this green. I don't know how I would get that in there to match with my cats, but there's a little kind of orangey in here and one of my cats is orange, so you know, it might happen. By the way, I'm wearing the smile you gave me. Oh, I like this. This would be cute as a card actually to give to somebody, maybe cut it down, you know, a little bit or tear the edge or something. Um, but I do like this too. I like this kind of random splotchy thing that's happening. So all of those will get used, I have no doubt. So now let's go to the three by fours. All right. Rain, tea, and you. I'm a tea drinker, so that might work. Wait, does it say something else there? Rain, coffee, and you. Oh, okay. So one says tea. One says coffee. I thought they, they were the same, but they're not. Well, I drink coffee too. So either way, score. And then these are the month cards. There's March. And then you get a Sunday or a Monday start. So whichever one you do, they will meet your needs for that. I love this. This is that same pattern again. Very cool. This is similar to the paper, which I love. So I love it again here. And I like that you can go either orientation. Again, with using inserts, sometimes I have an insert that has two three by fours and they're horizontal. So when I use something like that, this is the right orientation. So the rest of the time would be this way, but I like that I have choices. Oh, I love this butterfly. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, sorry if you heard that. That was one of my cats that I mentioned. <laughs> March memories. Oh, I like the rainbow look to it. My word for the year. Oh, I'm not doing my one little word, so it'll be this side. Some more greenery, which I love. Oh, and this one goes both ways. Horizontal and vertical. I appreciate that. Cute little clouds with my head in the clouds. <laughs> hmm. Don't know how I would use it, but I want to. I love this. If you want the rainbow, you've got to put up with the rain. Well, that's probably true. Or you can just use the blank side. I like that it gives an option with words and without. There's a cute little sun and then you could put something, some tiny words in there if you want. This side's cute too, though. It's more of that stitching and a little pop of color there. I like it. Cute little raindrop. Ooh, I like this barn wood though. That's cool. Again, rain stuff. Oh, and both ways. Excellent. So again, this might get saved for my trip in case we have a rainy day. More rainbow theme. Both orientations. Excellent. More with the rain. Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to use all of these rain things. Um, I'll have to get really creative. The silence after the rain, how quickly the sky pulls herself back together. Well, that's a really cool, really cool saying. I like that. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Hmm, how would I use it? I don't know. That would be kind of funny in a way, like if we got lost on our trip. I can maybe, maybe use that. There's the stripes that mic mimic that paper, which I like those. More butterflies. I really love this, and I love these colors. Coco Daisy people, if you're watching this by any chance, I love your colors, so don't change that. I love how you just mix like blues and greens and yellows sometimes. They're so vivid and vibrant, and I love it. I mean, look at this. Look how those match together. Very cool. Rain is my favorite. It's not for me. <laughs> Sun is probably my favorite, but I don't mind rain. So I don't know. We'll see about that one. And then here's one that just has a quote. So this would be a nice filler card. Oh, and then same thing, but in green. 
this. This is like the stamp. I dig this. <laughs> Again, don't know how I'll use it, but I'll find a way. And it's both orientations. Perfect. Here's a cloud who's not sad that it's raining. And again, it has two little spots where you could stamp in there. And then, ooh, okay. I know a lot of people don't like orange, but I do. And I like this card. This side will probably end up getting used. Sorry, Mr. Cloud. Little cute umbrella. I like it that this part doesn't have the rain. That's kind of, it's visually interesting. Ooh, I dig the black and white. And then this last one, which I love the yellow. So hopefully I would, I would use that side, but since I saw this as I was unpackaging that this side was green, I like this one too. <laughs> and again, those spots where you could stamp or you could cover it up with something, I suppose, if you want. But I love all these. So once again, I am very, very pleased with my kit. So, so far I am loving my subscription. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing everything that you get in a monthly kit from Coco Daisy. Thanks for watching.